Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I am going to explain you effect of temperature on PN junction characteristics. In this video, I will explain you three essential things. First is effect of temperature on forward bias characteristics of PN junction. Second is effect of temperature on reverse bias characteristics of PN junction. And at last, I will explain you what are the essential key points that frequently comes in interviews. So, let us try to understand first what will be effect of temperature on forward bias characteristics of PN junction. So, as if you keep forward bias PN junction, then you should know VI characteristic that will be there in first quadrant and that we have already discussed. Here, I will explain you what will happen as if you increase temperature or as if you decrease temperature. So, see in forward bias, characteristics of forward bias that will get shifted towards left side as if you increase temperature and that shifting will happen at the rate of 2.5 milli voltage per degree celsius. So, as you increase temperature characteristics will get shifted towards left side right. You see here in VI characteristic if you increase temperature characteristic will be shifted towards left side. So, you can observe here characteristics x, y and z that is shown. So, here T x is greater than T y is greater than T z that is how it is there. So, as you increase temperature characteristics will be shifted towards left side. Now, let us try to understand this by one practical example. So, here what I will do is I will be considering a scenario in which we need to find threshold voltage at 75 degree Celsius and at minus 100 degree Celsius for silicon diode if threshold voltage is given at 25 degree Celsius and that is 0.7 voltage. So, here let us consider this threshold voltage is 0.7 when temperature is 25 degree Celsius which is there with this characteristics y. So, here let us consider this here we are having threshold voltage that is 0 0.7 voltage and here temperature is 25 degree Celsius. Now, as I have told you, if you increase temperature, characteristics will be shifted towards this side. If you decrease temperature, characteristics will be shifted towards this side. So, here Tx that we are considering as 75 degree Celsius and Tz that we are considering as minus 100 degree Celsius, right. Now, we need to find what is threshold voltage. So, here let us find that for 75 degree Celsius. So, here we are dealing with to find threshold voltage at 75 degree Celsius, right. So, that will be threshold voltage, right, at reference that is at 25 degree Celsius and as if you increase temperature, voltage will be decreasing over here, right. So, VTO minus delta T into 25 milli. So, 25 into 10 to the power minus 3. See, this is how we should be calculating it. So, here reference is 0 0.7. So, 0 0.7 minus how much temperature that we increase? 25 to 75 means 50 degree Celsius into 25 into 10 to the power minus 3. So, if you solve this, my answer that is 0 0.575 volt. So, here you see at 75 degree Celsius, now threshold will be less over here, that will be now 0 0.575 volt. Now, let us find that for minus 100 degree Celsius. So, again same formula that we will be using, threshold at minus 100 degree Celsius, that will be threshold at reference and here you see now threshold will increase as you decrease temperature. So, here I am writing plus into delta T into at what rate it will decrease over here now? It will be decreasing at 25 into 10 to the power minus 3 means 25 milli voltage. So, reference is 0.7 and here how much temperature that we decrease from 25 to minus 100? So, that will be 125. So, here delta T that is 125 degree Celsius into 25 into 10 to the power minus 3. If you solve this, let me check what is my answer. So, that is 1.0125 volt. So, here 
you see we are decreasing temperature and based on that based on that characteristic is getting shifted over here means threshold voltage is increasing so for characteristic z at temperature minus 100 threshold voltage is 1.0125 voltage right so now i think you are having fair enough idea about how characteristic will change in forward bias remember this as you increase temperature as you increase temperature it will be it, it will be having decrease in voltage at the rate of 2.5 milli voltage per degree celsius right and that is how you can apply formulas i have seen students are asking question like here you have considered minus delta t here you have considered plus delta t see what i am doing is i am saying you that as if you increase temperature then voltage will decrease that's why i am writing minus over here if you increase temperature if you decrease temperature then voltage will increase that's why i have written plus over here right otherwise you will have to remember like t2 minus t1 t t1 minus t2 and in that situation i have seen many confusions are created right now let us try to understand characteristics in reverse bias so here in reverse bias you should know characteristics of pn junction that will be there in third quadrant so here see this reverse bias characteristic that i'll explain you with respect to reverse saturation current first so here if you observe in reverse bias see this is reverse current right this is reverse current let us say that is iso and that happens because of minority carriers right now here you see in the reverse bias reverse saturation current that will get double with increase of every 10 degree celsius of temperature so as if you increase temperature by 10 degree celsius then reverse current that will get double and based on that here formula is written you see is that is equals to reference is that is iso into 2 to the power delta t by 10 so if delta t is 10 degree then 2 to the power 1 will be there so you can say here reverse current that is getting double right let us try to understand this by one example so that will give you more clarity so here question is find the reverse current at 125 degree celsius temperature for silicon diode at room temperature of 25 degree celsius so here reverse current is 50 nano ampere that is given so here 25 degree celsius is having 50 nano ampere current that is given right so let us consider that is this which is reference so here i am saying iso that is 50 nano ampere right and that is happening at 25 degree celsius now what we are doing is we are increasing temperature so as if you increase temperature how much reverse current will increase that we need to find so for that i have already explained that formula is is equals to iso into 2 to the power delta t by 10 right so here reference is having 50 nano ampere current into 2 to the power you see 25 degree celsius to 125 degree celsius increase in temperature is there so 100 degree celsius temperature that we are increasing over here so delta t is 100 divided by 10 so this will be 50 nano into 2 to the power 10 2 to the power 10 means 1 kilo but practically its value is 1024 so 50 nano into 1024 so if you solve this let me check what is my answer so my answer is 51.2 micro ampere right so here from nano to micro see that much change is happening so here we are having characteristics you see which is having now new reverse current that is 51.2 micro ampere almost thousand times greater compared to this so as you increase temperature you see reverse current that is increasing why the reason is see reverse current that happens because of minority carriers and minority carriers quantity that will increase with respect to temperature so in pn junction reverse current flows due to minority carriers 
if you increase temperature minority carriers concentration will increase and as if minority carrier concentration increases then obviously reverse current will increase so you can observe here if you increase temperature by 100 degree celsius thousand times almost you can say more than thousand times current is increasing and that i cannot show you by this scale but you just consider that as per this drawing the reason is i cannot draw thousand times greater compared to this over here right one more thing that you need to keep in your mind see in reverse bias as if you increase temperature if you increase temperature then breakdown voltage will also increase if you observe here see this is breakdown voltage let us say this is breakdown voltage which is vbo now here you see breakdown voltage is vb right so as we increase temperature breakdown voltage is increasing but that is true for normal pn junction diode this is true for normal pn junction diode it is not true for zener diode remember this in zener diode we are having higher concentration so in higher concentration this formula of this increase in breakdown voltage is not applicable right in that practically breakdown voltage will decrease as you increase temperature right but in normal avalanche pn junction diode if you increase temperature then breakdown voltage will increase but there is no such formulas for calculation of this so here i cannot explain you by what value it will get increase but you can say it will increase right now i'm going to explain you some interesting facts that is very essential in interviews see here we are talking about germanium silicon and gallium arsenide when you talk about germanium then you should know in germanium we are having higher reverse current why the reason is in germanium we are having more minority charge carriers and effect of temperature that is even very high in germanium so as in germanium reverse current is higher it is more sensitive to temperature see here i have given example based on silicon so in silicon reverse current is there in terms of nano ampere if you increase temperature by 100 degree celsius now you see current is happening in terms of micro ampere in germanium reverse current is there in terms of micro ampere if you increase temperature reverse current will be increasing up to milli ampere right so practically when diodes are getting fabricated at that time they are observing that parameter like germanium is very sensitive to change in temperature that's why majority of semiconductor materials are not used with germanium majority of times you will be observing silicon or gallium arsenide that we are using for a fabrication of pn junction right so this question that i have seen frequently comes in semiconductor industries so they are asking like why should we select silicon or gallium arsenide instead of germanium so germanium is more sensitive to temperature and germanium is having higher reverse current so as if you increase temperature further increase in reverse current will be there and because of that temperature effect will provide more sensitivity to working of circuit and that we don't want so usually we will be using silicon or gallium arsenide for a fabrication of semiconductor devices like diode transistor right i hope you have understood this still if anything that you like to share please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video